Dr. Christy Mulkey, and I'm the workshop coordinator with 240 Tutoring. Today, I'm coming to you with part two of our series on rock cycles. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can easily follow along. Today, part two is going to be looking at the sedimentary rock cycle. Now, this is going to pull some information from part one. So if you didn't get the chance to watch that video before you go any further, I'd go back and watch part one that we posted earlier this week. Parts three and four will be coming to you next week. So be on the lookout for those. Today, again, we're talking about the sedimentary rock cycle. Again, this is basic knowledge that's gonna be building on itself each time as we progress through this series. So if you're wondering, do I need to watch this video? I want you to look at this table and see if your test is on here. So you will see some of this content appears on both elementary and middle school tests that have science content on them. So this table will help you figure out, do I need to keep watching this video? Now let's review really quickly, what are sediments? These are those pieces of rock that have broken down from other materials as part of the weathering process. So rocks and other materials that have broken down as part of the weathering process. Then those sediments are carried away in the erosion process. Where they land or where they lay down, that's gonna be deposition, where they're deposited. Now that's critical because of what we're gonna talk about next. The steps in the sedimentary rock cycle. Those first three steps, we actually already talked about in part one weathering, erosion, and deposition. Now, once those sediments are deposited, we can start with steps four and five. Now, over time, the weight of the top layers starts to create pressure on the lower layers. That's called compaction, as they get closer and closer together. That pressure over time starts to cement all those little pieces of sediment together. Those, that's called cementation. Those two steps together, four and five, compaction and cementation, are referred to as lithification. Now we can describe this actually in much more technical terms and in a more in-depth way, but for the sake of the elementary and middle school science content, this should be sufficient for what you need to know. Now, key points to remember about the sedimentary rock cycle. Again, layers of sediments that become cemented together to form that new rock or that sedimentary rock. They're formed at or near the Earth's surface. All right, so right there at the Earth's crust. Metamorphic and igneous are formed much deeper. So these are the ones formed at or near the Earth's crust. Now, one unique thing about sedimentary rocks is that is where you will often find fossils. Sedimentary rocks can contain fossils, unlike other types of rocks, because they form at temperatures and pressures that do not destroy fossil remains. So if you see something about fossils, we're talking about sedimentary rocks. Now their appearance. Sometimes you can see visible layers. Sometimes you can see visible little pieces all in the rock. But there are also many other varieties. Some have very little or no layers or visible pieces, such as shale. Some examples of sedimentary rock, conglomerate, sandstone, rock salt, limestone, coal, flint, these are all just examples. Don't try to memorize that list. If you can just remember a one or two, that would be great. Now here are some sample pictures. You can see in this picture, you've got some fossil remains. And in this one, you can see some layers and other bits of rock that have been pressed together, okay? Now let's try some practice questions. So students are viewing a fossil in a rock that was found by an archeologist not far below the earth's surface. Which of the following types of rocks would this be? So again, keywords. I want you to look for those keywords, okay? Keyword here, fossil, not far below the earth's surface. That will hopefully tell you it's a sedimentary rock. Okay, now if it helps at all, remember that bones in a fossil would have to be cemented within something else, pressed together. So hopefully that tells you it's sedimentary. But if not, remember, not far below the Earth's surface. Let's try another one. 
which of the following rocks is sedimentary? Some of you are looking at this question and you may freak out just a little bit. Just know that if you're an elementary candidate, this type of question is not likely to appear on your exam. If you are a middle school candidate, the chances are greater. That's why we're doing a practice one. Now, with this question, unfortunately, you just have to know. There's no real strategy. There's no process of elimination. So if you know, great, answer it and move on. If you don't know, take your best guess and move on. Don't linger. Staring at it isn't going to magically make it appear in your mind. Now, if you want to know, pumice is an igne igneous rock that's formed near a volcano. Granite is an igneous rock that is formed when magma cools slowly deep in the earth. And marble is a metamorphic rock that uh, is formed deep under the earth's surface. Limestone is your sedimentary rock here. Limestone, if it helps, is usually formed in your warm marine waters near the surface. So if you can remember that's where limestone comes from, that might help you answer this question. Now, I hope this has helped you understand the sedimentary rock cycle and that you will join us for parts three and four of this series. Remember, you can find more information on our 240 Tutoring Study Guides, or you can follow us on all our social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and I will post links to those and all our resources in the comments of this video. If you have a question, drop them in the comments. We do look at those and we will answer those as best we can. Of course, you can always email us at the email address shown here. Now, I hope to see you again for part three. And again, this is Dr. Christy Mulkey with 240 Tutoring. Thank you.